Oh, I'm supposed to speak. Okay. Um, actually, you know what? I, I'm I'm thrilled right now. I, I thought we played great. I, I, we had no idea what we had. We didn't know if we would be uh, completely outmatched. We had no idea, and I thought uh, I thought we played tremendous. I thought we generated a ton of offense. I think anytime you have 60 shots over t three periods, I know we ended up with 63 for overtime, but 60 shots in three period, having 20, 20 shots a period is fantastic. I love the offense. Uh, obviously, we didn't convert, but I love I love the offense that we, we created, and I love the student section to come out and to see the crowd and the student section. It was fantastic. That's why I came here. That's why our staff came here. That's why our recruits came here. Uh, or there's those are that's a major reason. And it was just fantastic to see them. So I know it, it, it's it's hard to say why I, I feel so good after an overtime loss, but right now I'm I'm thrilled. Absolutely, and, and, and the line that started it off was uh, David Glenn, Curtis Loic, and Kenny Brooks, and they, they, I thought they controlled the puck down low all night long. I thought they, it, when they were on the ice, I thought they had control of the puck 85% of the time. I just thought they were a very fun line to watch. Uh, obviously, the big line, the big guys, uh, with Bailey, Gardner, and Millie also protect the puck well, but that line with, uh, with Loic, uh, Kenny Brooks and David Glenn, I thought they just controlled the puck. I thought they were fantastic to watch. <laughs> you know what? Um, that, that, that surprised me. I, I certainly would love to say, geez, we were hoping for that. That, that really surprised me. I, I give the guys a lot of credit. Obviously, you want to convert more, but give uh, their goaltender a lot of credit. He played obviously very well. I think I was happy with the work ethic. I was I was happy with how the defenseman jumped in. I thought Luke Yuha was as important a part to the offense as was you know Nate Jensen, Luke Yuha. Mark Yannis had a very good game. Um, we were creating offense from the back end and, and we protected the puck so well we were able to get lanes and get chances. I, we, we were shocked that, that we were able to do that. Um, hey, I don't think there's gonna be a lot of games where you get 60 shots on net and, and don't come out with a victory. Yes, you do after every game, win or lose, um, certainly, and, and a lot, because we hadn't seen a lot of our players compete at this level. So individually, yes. Uh, I'm not going to go over a lot of it, and, and, and there was, in, you know, you, you see things from new players that we know we're going to have to address, but, but I also learned a lot of good things. For us to, you know, I keep harping on this, but for us to generate 60 shots on that in a Division One game right now, that's something to learn. That's something I learned from our team, that we have that, we have that ability, and that's a great thing to know. Yeah, um, and, and I wasn't able to work with the team a lot, but our, our goaltender, uh, we were able to have skills practice in which our goaltending coach went out with them, and, and uh, you know, he, he's a guy with a great work ethic, and, I, and, and he, you know, he really impressed our goaltending coach, and, um, he, he's, he is a freshman, but he's also, over the past three years, played more games than anybody else we have and had more wins. And he's a, you know, for, for a freshman, he has a lot of experience. And this was his first Division One game. Um, I'm sure he, you know, to answer your question as well, I, I'm sure he learned a lot and, uh, and got the, one, the first one behind him. Obviously, I'm sure he wouldn't like to get, let, let that last one go, but um, all in all, I'm sure it was a valuable experience. It was actually all pretty positive. I mean, it, I felt, honestly, I got to tell you, I felt really alive. Like, uh, it, there's a lot of little details, a lot of work, uh, and a lot of correspondence uh, that goes into when you start something like this. And, and this was just so much fun, and um, I really felt alive. Uh, and then to come to the rink and see the student section, and, and they're going nuts, I loved it. I, I mean, I know we lost, but I, I love the experience. I just I look forward to this year, and I look forward to the future like you can't believe. Uh, I have. Uh, I haven't talked over the coaches yet, but but I have. Uh, but before, just to make sure in terms of uh, injuries, everything else, I'm not going to announce it, the lineup until tomorrow, our team meeting. It 
was. We want to see them. We have a lot of, and I wouldn't say that uh, when you say top two lines, I, I want to, I do want to correct you on that because I, I don't see that at all. I, I think we have lines that have different roles, and certainly in terms of an offensive line, you see Casey Bailey and Max Gardner certainly, and Jonathan Milley. You can establish that they're going to be one of your offensive lines that certainly play on the power play because the, the only line that we had that had synergy together, that have played a game together, was Holstrom, Kirk Cable, and and Olchek. That's why they played. But uh, you know, if you ask me, I, I mean, I was. I was really a fan of, of, of the Glen line today. If you, if you want to talk about the top lines, I thought they were fantastic. So um, I, I see what you're saying. And, and yes, I use them more in the power play, but uh, I certainly am not going to say they're top lines. A couple more questions. Well, I, I, I liked it. I mean, there was times, it was a little inconsistent, but at times it didn't look good. I mean, at times it looked great. Like in times we got in quick and we're able to protect the puck. There's one thing just to get in quick. Um, and it looks good, but if they're able to come out the other side, it doesn't matter. And I, I really like the fact that we, we got in quick and we were able to establish control. And I think, again, I said, I mean, David Glenn's line was fantastic at that early, and they actually were very consistent all night long. So um, I, I do like, in that aspect, I, I liked it a lot. Yeah, you know, I was uh, very happy. I was also extremely happy how it started. I, I think Mark Yannis had a real strong game, and uh, he made a tremendous play uh, to get the puck to Holy with speed, and, and so I was very happy on two counts. Great to see him finish, obviously. He, we knew that. We knew that with him. That wasn't a surprise to us. We've all seen him, seen that, and we know that he's, as one of the transfers, has done it at a Division One level before, so that wasn't a surprise, but uh, I really also I, I like the way that the play developed that uh, we were able to get him in pocket speed. It was a, it was a, it was a, a high level play actually from the defenseman, so it's great to see. Last question. How do you convey to the team it's not about wins and losses, it's yeah. about performances like tonight? Well, we do talk about it. I, I think they understand it. We, we established before that we want guys that are hungry to, to build this foundation and understand the importance of it. And so, you know, on one sense, you have to feel a lot of pride in that, and on the other side, you got to understand that it's not just all about wins and losses. This is our first game together. Uh, this is our first Division One game. I think there's a lot of things that we can be very proud of. We can be very proud of the crowd, uh, very proud of the atmosphere, and very proud of the off offense that we generated. And, and there's a lot of a lot of freshmen out there. Um, so. To us, it's extremely, you see a lot of optimism for the future, and when you put it in that sense, I hope they get, I know they're down. Anytime you play a hockey game, you lose, you're going to be down, but I think they also know that, you know, take a look at what they accomplished in terms of generating offense, and, and I think they're probably pretty optimistic right now, too. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank Have you fun. very much.